Taurus, hi. So, um, this is going to be a reading for February 2020, and I'll start it off with two cards from the uh, Spirit Animal Oracle, and then I'll go into the reading, and then I'll be um, closing it off with a Oracle card from the Soul's Journey. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box if you want down below and uh, what else roles can be reversed things like that everything <laughs> uh, Sun Moon rising every kind of placement you can think of and Felix is here he's gonna sometimes he's sleeping sometimes he wants to play so um, not really sure what he's gonna do next like there you go so we'll see I guess we'll see. Let's uh, let's begin with you, Taurus. You get the Turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace, and you get the Snake spirit. Time to heal. Time to heal. Okay. Everybody's favorite time, right? Not. Yeah. Stop being cute. All right. Let's take a look here. Let's dig a look. Let's dig a look. What the hell? Uh, Virgo, I think, got two of your cards here for the potential outcome and the hidden energies. Interesting. Uh, so, the overall energy for the reading is the Six of Pentacles. Time for sharing, time for equal give and take, time for um, healing? <laughs> what was it? Oh, give with gratitude and grace. This is what this is. Yeah. So this is the overall energy uh, of sharing, of opening up to giving and receiving, you know. What's uh, starting out the reading is the judgment card crossed by the queen of coins. This is you. This is you healing again, um, back to the beginning. Um, you are taking your time here to heal from something. It's, it's your time to do that. It's the perfect time to do that. In your strength here, uh, in your focus, you get the uh, Eight of Pentacles. So you're focusing on work a lot. I'm not really getting the vibe. Overall, on the surface, I'm not really getting the love vibe that that would be in your mind for now but it is showing up in the reading even though your focus is not necessarily there and it's more on you it's showing up as an exterior um energy as well that's kind of helping you through all of this so not necessarily bad in your recent past here you get the two of pentacles you are juggling things you are trying to please everybody or things like that you know um in your strength you get the queen of cups love there is love here in a situation coming up for you in the immediate future. Something that you're wishing for. Something or someone. Uh, what's supporting this energy is the Ten of Cups. Very happy, loving kind of couple connection, whatever. The energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, conflict. There's some sort of conflict you are either involved in, this could be inner conflict, this could be just about anything, any kind of conflict or competition even. Um, what you're hoping for is that you are going to be able to walk away from something. 
um, the potential outcome for February. The Tower card. Something's changing. Something's coming in rapidly and changing. All right. Uh, let's clarify things. You are allowed to stay here, but do not throw the cards off the table. Okay, let's... Yeah, this card. Leave it here. He's like, I, I don't want for... I don't want for Taurus to be happy. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Spread the love, Felix. Uh, get the Six of Pentacles here. Queen of Cups shows up again with the High Priestess and the Three of Swords. So, um, I feel like you didn't want to listen to your intuition for quite some time. I feel like you're barely opening up to it now for some reason. And um, there's a lot of pain that you haven't dealt with in the past. And now you are. But there's also a lot of love in the situation. You know, so that's actually kind of help, uh, helping the situation here, that you've got that going on. You're sure that you can, you can go and fix this pain as long as you have that support, that, um, that love, you know, it's easier. It's looking like you're in a, you're starting to be in a very balanced place. But there is this pain that you didn't deal with in the past because your intuition was closed for business, you know? Uh, let's see the judgment card. You get the King of Cups, the uh, Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. So you may be dealing with a person that's um, emotionally they're not your match, right? You're feeling all of this love, all of this everything. You're feeling a lot for this person. They may act a little bit. Ah, a little bit cold, a little bit shut off to you, right? Let's do the uh, Queen of Pentacles. You're going to do something stupid, I know, I know. Wow, you get the Emperor, the Death card, and the Moon. You're, uh, you're done. You're done with hiding your feelings, hiding... I, I feel like in the past there was a lot of mystery about you. And now you're like, you know what, I'm just going to tell it as it is. I'm just going to speak about my feelings. I'm just going to go get whatever it is that I want. This transformation is uh, doing a number on you, apparently. It's opening you up. There's a lot of openness here, you know. Let me do the uh, Eight of Pentacles for your focus. Ooh, you're very determined here, Taurus. There you are, double Taurus, you know, to work on stability on happiness to work on bringing this happiness into a connection whatever you're dealing with you could be dealing with a marriage here for some of you ow oh, that hurts either you're gonna be cool you know or you're gonna get down okay stay there so you are working on your stability here with somebody i'm getting you know there is a very strong connection here that you have with somebody um Where's my... Where, oh. <laughs> Alright, so that's your focus. Let me see that Queen of Cups in your strength. Mm. 
you get the three of wands the judgment card and the wheel of fortune so there's this sense of waiting waiting for quite some time here in a situation where there is love again um but not really any kind of action in this situation and it didn't go by for nothing i feel like the two of you the both of you changed here you know for the better um one possibly more than the other but you are going through a lot of transformation right now so you might be catching up and things will be changing in this connection where until now there's been a lot of waiting after this transformation things will be changing no no let me clarify the star in the uh, immediate future You get the Page of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. So it's kind of looking like you wanted to take action, fast action towards something. Because you're, the more you open up here, the more you're figuring out, this is what I want. I'm going to go get it. And it might be a little bit of a rash kind of decision. Um, a little bit of a too fast of an energy for you especially. And you might want to... Um, not approach the situation so fast instead you might be planning a little bit and approach it with cautious caution and be uh more steady you know in your approach because you are going to approach the situation or this person it's looking like let me uh clarify the ten of cups You may be dealing with a um, connection currently that you want to be, uh, you want to put behind you, you know. Um, you may be dealing with two people here. One of them is who you truly want, but you didn't take any kind of action. The other one is who you have, who you're with currently. And you may want to... Um, you may want to leave this situation or just, you know, balance things out in the situation that you're in. But you just don't know how to do it with the, with the Two of Swords being here. You're very much conflicted about it. You're very much in your head about it. You don't know how to either leave the situation. The Justice card is showing up and it's kind of telling me that you want to leave and you don't know how. At the same time, you may just want to fix things here you know for for some of you and again you don't know how let me clarify the uh five of wands in the hidden energies you're very much conflicted there is a person that you want there's a lot of passion here um this is you this is them this is what you would like to do um jump for it take a chance here it could be you could be them that wants to do this but whoever's wanting this is very very conflicted because of how they feel about the situation let me clarify the uh seven of swords you you want you want something fiery something very passionate here i feel like you're not you're not going with it because in order for you to have this you would have to put something else behind you and i feel like you're not doing it instead you're just distracting yourself with work you know um 
trying not to think about it, there is something that brings a lot of passion within you, right? I don't necessarily see you going for it. You could. You could for some of you. I feel like you want to, but I don't know if you will. Let's do the tower for the potential outcome. <clears throat> You're hanging on. You're hanging on to this person here. You're not letting them go. Some things, I feel like you are going to charge in somehow. Um, doesn't look like your kind of energy, so it might bring in a tower. Because it could be really, really fast, surprising this person or whatever the case. And their reaction might be like, what? Wait, what? You know? So... I do see you taking action here, though. Going from maybe, I don't know, I'm feeling too much, but I don't want to, to definitely going in. You know? Uh, let's see. Let's pull some cards from the universe for you. You've, you've thought about uh, this stability that you want for yourself, for your life, right? You've thought about it for quite some time, and I feel like you're coming out of this thinking about things, you know? And this is telling me, again, that you might take action because now you know what you want. Now you're clear about what you want, and you're going to take action. You know, you're coming out of this hermit mode here. So, Taurus, it is looking like um, you are healing. You are opening up more and more. Um, it's just a matter of cleaning up here. You know, cleaning up your life. Because you do know what you want right now. It's just a matter of making room for that. And for that to happen, you need to clean up. You need to make the space and release whatever is not good for you anymore so that this thing can come in. This thing or this person, whatever this is. So... Let me, um, let me close it off here with a oracle card from the soul's journey. You get honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Yeah, do that. Be true to yourself. All right, so, uh, Taurus, this is what I have for you. I hope this helped, and I will see you next time.